Hey guys, this is my new incubator that I made. I made it out of a polystyrene box that I got for free from my work, but you can buy these. Um, I cut a hole here with a utility knife and stuck the glass in. Um, I used silicone to stick it in, which I wouldn't recommend. I'd probably just go with the tape like everyone else has, because there's a bit of a smell of silicone inside the incubator. Um, on this side I've got my <coughs> my thermostat, digital thermostat, which I got from eBay for $12.95 delivered from Hong Kong. Um, this this is an awesome unit. I've tried a few but this this thing can get it but um, within 0.2 or 3 of a degree. Um, so that's something I would definitely recommend buying one of these and there's my temperature gauge and humidity gauge so at the moment it's 37.5 degrees and 44 percent humidity which is perfect for the quail eggs that I've got on at the moment and uh, my temperature gauge is right in the middle of the eggs so that's this one here and this is the temperature right next to the light bulb and I've got the probe for that right in there, right next to the light. Um, I've got a piece of wood here to stop um, the, the heat going straight onto the egg so that it's yeah, it just flows around. And I've got two little 12 volt fans, computer fans, that blow on the probe to cool it down. Um, and I'm just using a light bulb as the heat source. Um, I've, I've tried a few light bulbs and I recommend um, about a 100 watt light bulb. Um, just so that the, um, the light can turn on and off nice and quickly and it keeps the temperature on where the eggs are um, more regular. And um, I've um, screwed on the side here um, a power board to put all three of the power plugs on so that it's only one cord to power the whole unit. Um, this temperature and humidity gauge was about three bucks from Hong Kong. Um, with this, with this little unit um, I had to wire it up myself so um, just using one of these two pin plugs um, you need to wire in the power and then also the light needs to be hooked into this as well so you need to know a little bit about wiring to be able to do that or at least know someone who, who could do it for you um, over here I've got a rack that I made just out of a bit of wire um, to make sort of an egg turner and so it's a semi-auto system where I just have to unhook this rubber band and turn this bit of wire so you can see the eggs turn not fully but just a little and every couple of days or so I'll, I'll um, open it up and turn them a little bit better or we'll straighten them up and there's a tray underneath the eggs for water to to um, change the humidity. And I don't really need to put in about a teaspoon at a time of water, hot water, and that'll that changes the humidity up and down quite well. When you have to put in a teaspoon every couple of days, and the temperature needs to be between 25 and 50 percent, and uh, for quail eggs that is. And I've got my temperature set at 37.5. Um, every so often I have to turn, change the the temperature setting on this um, thermostat because of the temperature in my house, like whether it's a cold day or a hot day, um, because it'll because otherwise it'll be too high or too low on on the temperature reading. So that's about it. I'm going to do a tutorial as well 
on how I built this, so um, yeah, if you want to have a look at that video as well. Alright, thanks guys.